What's up, guys? Half owner. Hope so, now they fine. My name is Dr. King Stevens, aka Mr. We Take Another Shot, and I'm a professional colorist. And today I decided to do something very short for you, uh, something very, very important because I know, say, plenty of people they go, they go through the same problems. I've heard a lot of people complaining, and I decided to uh, give you this tip on how to do this. So, today I'll be showing you how to preserve your highlights and your shadows. Highlights and shadows are very important uh, when it comes to color grading because they can either make your look or break the look. Yeah, most times you have to preserve your highlights and your shadows to really get that cinematic look but sometimes I mean you can crush it you know depending on how you want the image to look but for this uh, tutorial I'll show you the best way to preserve your highlights so I really went ahead and you know grouped my shots and did my transformation so if you don't know how I did that you can just watch the previous tutorial I released it's going to really explain to you how to group your shots and then how to do your conventions so basically this is what I did I just um, group these footages if you come to the clip under the color space transform you can see we have a red wire gun mod a red lock to reach it then this is a color space I shot this video on and then you have the output color space DaVinci white gun mod DaVinci intermediate because I'm using a DaVinci white gun mod intermediate color space and then over the post, I did DaVinci White Gamma, DaVinci Intermediate, Rec 709, and Cineon Film Lock because I wanted to add the Kodak 2380-365 lot on it. And when I added it, you can see how washed out the image is. And most times, I know people will be like, wow, this lot sucks, and I can't do this. I can't color grade this image. It's, it's so crazy. And this is where my technique comes in. The day we shot this video it was a very, you know, rainy day, very cloudy day. You can see from the rough image, you see how the clouds are very dark. So, so it's actually very tricky to keep these details all these details in the sky so there are a couple of ways you can do this um, i can actually come here and say hey hdr and then under the global i'll bring it down like so so just take a look i'll bring it down like so you know trying to you know preserve the highlights and all that and when you see uh it's actually trying to preserve the highlights but then the image is getting dark and which is what we don't want we could try to add the shadows all that but i think that this is actually more complicated and very tricky to handle so you have to be you have to really be a professional to go through this way so the best way i advise you to do this is come to your primary node and then instead of using the hdr palette you go over to the primary color wheels and then you go to your highlights and then you bring it down you take it down to like uh let's see 70. Uh, okay let's go down again uh i like it 98 is good and if you see before after you can see that it's it's more subtle you could say okay over my hdr i just want to you know bring down the exposure a little bit again so under the hdr you go to the global and you take it down just a little you know just so we can add some small contrast on the image you know so i'll take it down like here and i feel like the image is a little bit dark i'll come back to my primary and then under the shadow i'll just take it up a little so these two sliders the shadows and the highlights really helps to preserve details i could say okay i want it to go up maybe to like 10 and you can see the difference say this is before this is after you can see even when you look at the waveform you know everything is compressed and the highlights is perfectly okay it's in the right spot the shadows is in the right spot you could go ahead and say hey i want to add some contrast onto this image you know just to stretch out the waveform a little 
you can do that and let's try that so let's try to bring this up and then create another point here and then try to bring it down so before and then after so we're just adding some more contrast with we are still keeping our skies we can still see all the details in the sky and the shadows even though it still has some contrast you can still see details in the shadows so guys this is the best way i advise you to tackle the highlights and shadows in your images or doing color grading it's very subtle it's very nicely done it's natural it helps to make you stand out from the others so thank you guys i know you enjoyed this tutorial uh, it's a very short one and i'll be doing more short tutorials like this you know trying out little little tips for you so you can understand and then improve your images you know our goal our goal is to make africa big so we're doing this for us see you next time guys okay we'll take another shot